The CTO's role in the District of Columbia is essentially to drive innovation, leveraging technology for over 86 agencies, 38,000 employees, and over 600,000 residents. When I first came on board as a Chief Technology Officer, I walked out of my place, went to the local coffee shop, and I discovered sitting in that coffee shop that I had more computing power than the average police officer in the District of Columbia, the average teacher, and the average person who is issuing tickets. In the Washington, D.C. Fire Department, we have over 2,000 employees, and we use a lot of network shared resources for our leadership to get the message out. We had a demand for collaboration platform. We were looking for something that was easy to use for the, from the end user perspective, and we're also looking for a technology that could be scaled immediately. And based on those metrics and just the economic value of uh, being able to roll out a technology super fast at a low cost, we decided to go with Google Apps. We ensure that uh, technology is being used efficiently, projects are on schedule, and that the taxpayer's money is being put to the best use possible. I decided to evaluate and test what could we do using consumer technologies in the public space. We use Google Apps um, as a collaboration tool. We find it's much better than using static spreadsheets and, and Word docs. You just turn on the solution and it's very easy for end users uh, to understand it, to use it, to implement it, deploy it. I'm using this technology to create a website. I've already done it and I'm posting information on it and I'm getting it out there and I'm updating it and I'm putting PowerPoints on there and it's so simple to do. Anytime we have a report of a fire in anywhere in the city, as we're en route, we're glancing at Google Earth and determining if the fire hydrant's actually available to us or broken and not available. We decided to use Google Earth coupled with uh, GIS in terms of GPS data to track how our technicians were performing. So in a real-time fashion, we could see where they were what was taking long, what wasn't taking long, and so we could redeploy them based on where the emergencies were. Google Earth allowed us to look at the segment of the city that was hit hard and determine where our community residence facilities were, where our dialysis centers were, any critical infrastructure. Then we proceeded to notify the incident commander of those facilities and we called those facilities because the phone numbers to the contacts of all those facilities were right in Google Earth. Google Apps definitely allow my team to be more collaborative with our colleagues. It allows us to share information across the agency, especially when we need to do reporting that we have to give to the city administrator or some other agency that we report to. Interestingly, though, we have Google Earth in our mobile command vehicle, so we don't have to be tied to a brick and mortar facility to have the application. We have videos that we've restricted only to the intranet. These videos are training videos that are restricted to such as HR practices for human resources, or public safety for the fire department. So it's secure if you want it to be secure, or it's open if you want to share it with the world. I think if I didn't have Google Apps, it probably would make my workday a lot longer. We're investing in technologies that will fundamentally change the way this government operates. We're ensuring that we provide those services so that the residents have access to these technologies to make their lives easier and the ability to interact with government smoother. We have documentation that we want to get out there to all of our fire and EMS providers when they're at home or when they're not at home. And if they're at home and they don't have VPN access, now we know that we have a secure place where we can post these documents and it's all within the District of Columbia domain. So it's all good. We've seen better bids in terms of responses to our RFPs and we've increased transparency in terms of government operations. I believe that reduction in costs directly benefits the taxpayers, it saves them money as well. The cloud computing model allows you to provide service rather than technology. It allows us to create a government that's more transparent so that government is not practiced behind closed doors, but it's practiced in the public square.